Does success often leave you feeling exhausted? It is something that I hear a lot from people, especially now, that they feel super successful, they're really busy, they have a lot going on, and they're exhausted at the end of the day, at the end of the week, um, at the end of the month. So I thought it would be worthwhile to spend a, a little bit of time talking about how to define your own level of success. And level maybe is the wrong word. Defining what success means for you and what that really involves. So it is a worthwhile topic for a whole workshop, um, but we're just going to give you a little snippet and a little um, few steps to start on what that looks like. In our current world, um, we're given the message all the time that you need to hustle all 24-7. You need to work really hard. You need to take every single opportunity that is presented to you. Um, you're available 24-7 via text, via email, via computer, to your work, to your colleagues. So it isn't hard to imagine that it is um, easy to get burnt out and easy to feel exhausted, even by things that are really positive and that you're passionate about and excited about. But is that really what success is for you? And is that really what success means? And how do you redefine success for yourself so that you feel vibrant and that you are um, energized and you are whole, that you can really bring your whole self to each situation, um, each experience, each opportunity versus running the hustle and working really hard and doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing or that you should be doing or that makes sense for you to be successful. So um, I'm gonna invite you to have a different kind of experience that hopefully will help you start redefining what success is for you. So uh, I want you to take a few moments here, take a few deep breaths. And I want you to bring into your mind's eye what being successful is for you. And I want you to focus less on all that you're doing and the results of the success. And I want you to focus on how it feels to be successful. What sensations do you have in your body? What emotions do you have? And what do those emotions feel like? And just notice what's that like. Try and let go of the things, right? And the checklist and what you think it should be. And really step into how it feels, what that experience is like. And now I want you to really remember that. So really put it in your mind's eye, the feelings and the sensations. And now I want you to think about what your to-do list is for, oh, sorry. I want you to think about what has happened in the past week that has given you those sensations. And write them down. And then I want you to think about your to-do list, all the things coming in the week ahead. And when you think about those things, does anything resonate with the same emotion and sensations 
that you just felt when you thought about success. And so with those answers, it should give you some guidance in what activities are supporting your success and what activities maybe actually don't align with what your system, like your energetic system, registers as success. And granted, like it's not an end-all be-all, and there are definitely nuances and different things that need a shift or change or be tweaked, but it is a starting point for you to start to rearrange your to-do list and your activity list so that you have more availability for that actual sensation and experience of success versus the doingness and the busyness that our current culture views as successful um, and makes us feel like we're successful and needed and worthy. So focus on the sensations and maybe start to adjust your to-do list and your activities for the week to reflect what actually feels successful so that you can enjoy more of the experience of feeling successful and um, living that ex success in your body and in your system. And then see what happens from there. See what opportunities come forward. And um, don't be afraid to rest, right? Just because uh, your day isn't super, super busy doesn't mean you aren't successful. The more you have the sensation and the emotional experience of success, you will resonate in your system differently. It will start to register differently. And granted, there'll be some reprogramming that has to happen, but let's just start here with you figuring out and remembering what your system and what your body registers as success and successful. And then let me know how it goes and what you find out. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to find out more information about me or my offerings, please check out my website, danashamas.com. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. I send them out weekly with tips, insights, rituals, meditations, personal updates, special events and offerings. So I know you don't want to miss out. Uh, thanks again for watching and I look forward to connecting soon.